Greetings all, Frog here. Let's play some GeoGuessr. I'm going to take my headphones off here, set them to the side because you don't really need them when you're playing GeoGuessr. This is a three minute world challenge just to kind of cleanse our palate from the last three episode slog that we had there. I won't give you any spoiler alerts. Uh, or any spoilers even, if you wanted to check it out on your own. It's definitely worth the three episodes, I think, or, you know, I suppose I wouldn't record it if I didn't think so. France somewhere, perhaps? Certainly somewhere with a Catholic influence, and I'm going to have the Holy Mother there. Driving on the right-hand side. We've got a three-minute time limit. Let's remember this. Mm, that's not going to be helpful. Rude to something, so I believe we're in France. Doesn't mean we have to be. Frozen in E2D87. Yeah, we're in France for sure. So what we're going to have to do is try and figure out from the context clues around this area where we might be. We don't appear to be in the wine region of France, so I would think perhaps we're in northern France. Not many big hills and mountains. I mean, looking around, no, mostly flat other than that one terrain feature there. So I'm thinking, you know, up by Normandy, maybe? Calais, even? But in the country. I'm not entirely certain where they grow most of their wheat. This might help us a little bit here. Pontre is to our left. In 0.5 kilometers, it's the D15. Um, Montmiari, I don't really know what that means. I can't see it because it's blurry. No, that doesn't help me. Uh, but it's only half a half a kilometer this way. Got a minute left to figure this out here. The D15, the D85, those are smaller roads, so obviously we're not going to be able to just click the map and see it. We'd have to get pretty lucky. I'm hoping that maybe when we get to this town, or maybe on the other side of this town, that there would be more city choices available. Very small town. There's an Imaginarium. Mm, not really helpful. Yeah, I mean, we've got 37 seconds left. At 28, we're going to start looking at the map. Alright, we got to get the map. France, north of France. Do we see D15 or D87? 20 seconds to kind of just take a quick look around. I think with the D15 that it might be a little easier. Nah, I got nothing. We were in the south of France by Dijon. I mean, we were at the right zoom level. We just had to zoom at the right spot to try and get a D15, D87. So, you know, I mean, hey, we knew France. 3,700 points is not shabby start for a three-minute time limit. We're in Europe again. And we were right next to a sign that probably is a no-passing sign, just like the other one. Oh, no, this is much more informative. Hmm. Tortoli, Lanusse, Seui, Sedali. I don't know. A lot of words, whatever they are. Hmm. Put a cross street. Let's see what we can see from here. Nothing. I want to go back this way. Yeah, that's close, I guess. You really have nothing on this car. Oh, so bad. Or Luco Sadali. Sadali, perhaps? De Finanza, location, city, new. Bed and breakfast. Community di Sadali. Di Sadali to me. Sardinia. Fragus is suborder de Sardinia. Are we on Sardinia? It's the... No, that's Corsica. This is Sardinia. Sardinia. Okay, that's a Sardinia, not Sardinia. Does that matter? I don't know. Let's go a little closer here, see if we can't see any of the towns that we were seeing. I mean, I'm comfortable enough guessing that from here, but the problem is maybe this is the best wine from Sardinia and not, you know, hey, you're on Sardinia. Sadali. 
Sadly, probably. Sadly. Uh huh. Where's your bed and breakfast? I've got a minute and 13 seconds to figure it out. Um, go back to the start. Do I have a street name anywhere? No, it's an east kind of east-west road. Um, mm, Sally is to the south, but not very far to the south. And then if we kept going straight, we would be at this other place. Um, mm, I'm going to say like we're back here. It's going to be pretty close. I'd say that's pretty close. We're on the other side. Oh, I see. Yeah, because we'd turn right to go south. Right. So I should have said the other side. 49.98. I'll take that. That was a good... We got lucky with Sardinia. Excellent. This is going This is going really well. Operación de apartos. Enrique. Peña Nieto. Presidente. Unions. Vilar Bar. Las Cuatas. Certainly we could be in Mexico. Three, six, eight, ten. Ten digits. If I were in Mexico, though, I'd expect them to be separated differently. Stacia. Mm -hmm. oh, here's some road signs. We are on Emiliano Zapata. 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 Emilio Zapata. On the corner of something else. Teodoro. Hmm, I'm going to go this way. Very brightly painted houses. And businesses, both. Apparently there's some crime issues because we're barring our doors. But at the same time, there's people walking their dogs out in the streets. No questions asked. Taxis. Hmm. Genericos y similares. Farmacia, La Cruz. With Hidalgo. Are we in Hidalgo, Mexico? Could be. Taxis. All right. Hmm. <laughs> Minute 22. Mexicanos, Vegas. Vega. Medico Farmicia. Hmm. It's a bigger road. Right now I'm going to have to go with Mexico. Hidalgo is a place. Vega, Vega de la Cadazar. 51 seconds left. It's a lot of time though. Don't freak out yet. Vega del Cacedero. No, that's a food stand, so that doesn't help us. All right, I'm going to go with the Hidalgo in Mexico, but I'm not sure where that is, so I need a little extra time. Um, not entirely certain where we are at all. Hidalgo may not be in Mexico, which is certainly the case. Let's hope it's Mexico. It was Mexico. It was on the coast. We were in Vega de la Torre. I'm not sure I would have figured that out. I might have gotten lucky to see the, the Mexico 180. But it's gone by now. Oh, Poza Rica del Hidalgo. Hidalgo. Oh, that was pretty close. Okay. We're in Europe. Driving on the right. Uh, that's all I got. Back that way, I see apps. Well, I see signs. Let's go see the signs. That got me to the sign? Holy smokes. I love you, new GeoGuessr. Oh, well, that's, that's not helpful. The truck is coming from this direction. So we will go in this direction. What do you say? 139. So we might be on the blue 139, or it might be 139 kilometers from something. We're going to wait to see the next little blue sign and see if it says 140, 138, or if it says 139 again. If it says 139 again, then I'm going to believe we're on the blue 139. I'm going to say we're in Sweden. Oh, 
That's a tiny little car. Trucks don't help. Everybody's going the other direction. That means they're all coming from here, right? So there must be something over here. It's been over a kilometer, and I have not seen another one of those little blue signs. Oh, here we are, right here. Cows. It says 140. Darn. All right, so we're counting kilometers. That's not helpful. Okay, you are a sign that is trying to tell me something, and you are blurred out because Google hates me. Probably something about the... Oh, no. Uh, Gimbus. Cyrillic. Yay. So we've got a minute and 16 seconds to figure out where in the Cyrillic-speaking countries we are. It looks like the steppes, honestly, of Mongolia. So if I were going to say that, then I would say we are in far eastern Russia if it's in Cyrillic. Because I don't think anything else is kind of steppe. Well, it could be in Kazakhstan, I suppose. <sighs> Kyrgyzstan, perhaps? Maybe. I mean, this is all kind of the steppe area. Uzbekistan, Kazakhstan, Russia itself. I'm going to take a stab in the dark and say Kazakhstan, but I've got 43 seconds yet to figure this out, so I'm not going to. I'm not just going to just go blindly on it. But it's tempting. Hmm. Mm, no. Bordersk doesn't really help me find that. Yeah, I'm going to go, well, no, 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 i got 15 seconds. Come on, don't rush. Don't rush. You've already put your point down. You're not going to move it to this point if you think it's not Kazakhstan, so. No, oh, okay, now we got to click. Oh, it was, oh, no, it was just outside of Kazakhstan. Oh, I had a great, great uh, look. I mean, that was the right idea. So I get 1944. I'm 1,500 kilometers off. Russia, man. Brutal. Final guess. Wow. What a show. What a show. No idea. Hopefully that's not a dirty word. The geogaster's got to keep me straight on my foreign languages. All right, because I can pronounce many, many languages. That's the background in, in singing, right? Sapataria. But it doesn't mean I know what I'm saying. Except for very few words in Spanish. Portuguese by definition, very little Italian, and then German. German I, German I know, at least as much as a kid. Let's see if anything here says nothing really. Nothing I can figure out anyway. Which, let's be honest, doesn't mean a lot. Rua Rondonha, Rua. Uh, that is Portuguese. So, I think we're in Brazil. Which just makes it that much more difficult. Supermercado. Iberato. 90 seconds, good lord. Estacionamento exclusivo para clientes de Mercado. No. Oh, bollocks. Alright, let's see. I just want to be able to read one of these. I mean, we're... we're oh, it's C E P C E. Are we in Serra? I'm pulling at straws, to be honest with you. There's no other state that looks like that. Primavera. I mean, no matter what we do, we're just, we're, we're boned. You had to give me the two hardest GeoGuessr countries right back to back, huh? It's just cruel. 
It'll end up being Mexico, too. That's the worst part. Like, I want it to be Brazil, but it won't be. Because that would be easy. Oh, 15 seconds. Come on. Anything? Anything? No, I just gotta click the button. We're gonna go here, and we're gonna make a guess. Oh, so bad. It was Brazil. We're in Paranagua. I don't know, Jose de Costalita. I don't know how I would have gotten that. Maybe coming back this way, maybe. I don't know, man. 15,676, I mean, it's a respectable score, but it was going so much better up until Russia and Brazil brought us back to distance. I hope you did enjoy it. We're going to come back next time with a couple of user channel challenges back-to-back. -back. Uh, always send those in. I love doing them. And we're, we're going to see what they are coming up. I have no idea. So it'll be exciting. I know they're world challenges both. So we'll see from there. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, click the like button. Consider subscribing to the channel. Stay updated to everything that happens. And until next time, cheers.